What's up guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today we're going to be building the Department of Defense DODX Nuclear Flask Car, also known as the Nuclear Waste Car. This transports radioactive material in this large cast, as you see in the middle, or new or spent nuclear fuel for naval nuclear reactors like aircraft carriers or submarines. And they're usually paired with some DODX 6-axle buffer flat cars and a caboose, Although I don't have tutorials on that, I only have that HO scale model. But this is a pretty unique looking car. You can assemble like a train, maybe like three or four of these together. This rail car comes with four trucks, so four bogies, which is a lot. And they do combine here in between. And this is where it actually pivots. And both sides actually have a brake wheel. So this is what the brake wheel is supposed to be represented by. A walkway over here. And then we have some placards represented by these skeleton skulls and then the levers is just random, you know, grab iron stuff like that. And also has the FRA striping going across. I should say DODX right here. And then here is the large nuclear flask. It even like pops some um, below like an underbelly. But yeah, it's actually commissioned by Fat Rock. So thanks to him for making this video possible. If you guys are interested in commissioning a rail car, you can do that uh, for less than the full price for the train commission because it's really only one freight car and it's pretty easy. Just check out the link in the description. And yeah, let's get started. Let's grab some materials. We're going to take out a dark oak uh, slab, fence gate, trap door, and a stairs hopper. A deep slate brick slab and yeah that's all we're grabbing right now so first off we'll place a dark oak fence gate right there and behind we'll add in a dark oak trap door on top of the fence gate we'll add a dark oak slab then we'll add in a dark oak fence gate and then deep slate brick slab make it two by two and then another dark oak fence gate and then a dark oak stairs upside down facing towards the fence gate Hoppers on sides of the wheels. And then in the middle of this, dark oak fence gates, and they're going to be opened up facing towards each other. Then we'll add in a dark oak trap door on the very edge right there. And then we'll add in deep slate brick slabs, just two blocks long. And then we're going to repeat the same bogey design. So copy everything from all the way here and just build it right after those two slabs. Yet again like this, but this time we're going to add in a dark oak trap door. It's just two blocks long right here, right on top. I'm going to add in this polished blackstone brick wall right here. A dark oak trap door. And close it up like that. Another trap door to the side of that. Then two blocks long, light gray carpet. And in the middle we'll add in a polished deep slate slab. I'm going to make it uh, three blocks wide like this. Then the middle part will add in polished deep slate blocks just all the way across to um, the coupler right there. Then we'll add in polished deep slate slab going to the side of this. Going all the way across. And then upside down polished deep slate stairs. Skip a block slab. And then in the gaps here, it's going to be in oak slabs two of them like that. Now on the very edge of the car we're going to add in an uh, end rod right in the corner and then we'll add in a skeleton skull facing towards the inside of that. Then an iron trap door, then a dark oak trap door, two of them open them up and then a dark oak fence and three blocks long of light gray carpet like that. Then I'm going to add another end rod right here Going horizontally, this one's going to be back to back. Extend it towards the middle like that. Then I'm going to add a polished deep slate slab four blocks along here. And then an oak slab. Another oak slab to the side of this. And then a polished deep slate slab. We're going to make this go all the way across the middle, so three blocks wide. And then on top, we're going to add in cyan terracotta, two blocks tall. Over here, we're going to add another two blocks tall, and then we'll add in three of them here. Another one in front of this. And then on top of this, there's going to be polished deep slate wall, three blocks wide like that. Then on top of this, there's going to be a polished deep slate uh, stairs, and then polished deep slate slabs, two blocks wide. And then polished deep slate slabs, three blocks wide right there. 
and then a cyan terracotta in the middle going to be a deep slate brick stairs then we're going to add in a stone button right here in the middle add another one to the side of this then we'll add in two more polished deep slate slabs and then the inside of this there's going to be a polished anisite we're going to add in uh, two on a diagonal like that then the very edge there's going to be upside down polished anisite stairs and then on top there's going to be a bedrock and if you can't use bedrock, you can just use cobbled deep slate. So we'll make that bedrock two blocks tall here. And then we'll add a bedrock two blocks tall here, another bedrock two blocks tall here. And then we'll add a cobbled deep slate two blocks tall here, and then another two here. And then we'll add in an anisite wall, this gap here, and anisite walls on top of the other walls. Then we'll add in polish anisite blocks three on a diagonal like this. Then we'll add in our polished blackstone buttons. One over here, another one on the other edge. Inside we're gonna make an L shape of polished anisite slabs. Um, just like that. And in the gap here we'll add in that cyan terracotta. Alright, down underneath here we'll add in another two cyan terracottas and then we'll connect it to the other side. In the middle we'll add in a gray banner like this. And then we'll add in an oak slab underneath. And then a polished deep slate slab. Then we'll work down below here. We're going to add in bedrock two blocks wide here and then three blocks wide right there. And then for the other side, um, we'll add in polished uh, deep slate slab in the gap there. And then we'll add in an L shape of polished anisite slabs right there. And then in this gap here is going to be polished deep slate slabs all the way across. Uh, just like that. Next up we'll add in an L shape of gray stained glass panes here. And then a birch button right next door. And then we'll add in a lever facing outwards right there. And then a chain going horizontally right there. Alright so after we're done with that we're going to copy everything over here on this side. And build the other half. All right, so after we have the other half looks like this, then we'll copy everything there and build this half. All right, so once we have both sides, it should look like this. Now we're going to go over here, add in the brake wheel. This is going to be a polish uh, deep slate slab and a wall underneath. Then we'll add gray carpet, make an L-shape right here. A skeleton skull right here for the placard. Another gray carpet on top of the oak. Then we'll add in a birch button right here. The other side is going to be a dark oak sign. And this side, do the same thing, but this way, button, and then dark oak sign. Then back over here, we're going to add in our hand brake. Again, the slab, the wall. And this time, it's going to be a skeleton skull right over here. And then polish deep slate slab. Delete this one in the middle. Make it two blocks long here. Light gray carpet and a flower pot to the side of that. There also is going to be a wither skeleton skull on this side. And apparently I forgot to add in uh, one of these oak slabs. So part of me for that. I uh, will uh, add in a gray carpet like that. All right. So next up, let's go down here. Add in a polished deep slate slab and then a polished diorite slab. Punch in a hole here. Polished diorite slab, say enter, caught it inside. Do the same thing on the other side, just the other way around. Slabs like that. Alright, very nice. Alright, so after that, we'll add in some more polished anisite slabs in these corners. Apparently, I forgot that. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much it on how to make the nuclear flask rail car. Thanks again to Fat Rock for commissioning this build. And if you guys are interested in commissioning a build for yourself, check out the link in the description. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button down below, subscribe if you had already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.